Hey guys, it's Zenwaves. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to install modded maps for Sledders, the latest hot patch, hot patch 2. So, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and show you guys here is my modded files. So this will require that you have Melon Loader installed and you have your game already modded up onto the latest patch, which is hot patch 2 currently, as of April 3rd, 2025. Now, what we're going to start by doing is we're going to hop on over to the Sledders Discord. Um, if you guys need a link to it, I'll go ahead and post a link uh, in the description of this video. So what we're going to do, now that we're on the Sledders Discord, we're going to come over here, scroll down all the way to Map Importer Early Access. I will have a uh, secondary file opened up that will allow you to have access to the latest Map Importer, and I'll keep it all updated for you guys. Um, for when you want to go ahead and do this, but currently this is what we're working with. After this video is posted, I will go ahead and have that open so you can have access to all the maps. So the current version we have right now of Map Importer is version 1.2.1. Uh, this was just a patch fix that allowed for, um, a specific little thing to work that we, uh, were working on. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go here, and we're gonna come over to here, and we're just gonna click to download. It's gonna bring us over here, and we're just gonna download that. Now, it will say unverified, uh, download blocked. I uh, promise you this is not a, uh, like, issue. Just go ahead and download unverified file. Um, I know it can be a little bit sad sometimes and stuff, downloading some stuff that, um, is saying that, but trust me, don't worry, it's gonna be okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna minimize, I'm just gonna open up our file explorer. So we're gonna come over here. And now we have the latest version of Map Importer, which is 2025-0409. So, now what we're going to do is I'm just going to bring this window over here. I'm just going to move this. Now we're going to come over here to our Steam. And we're going to come over here. We're going to go to Manage and Browse Local Files. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to hop on over to our Mods folder. Now, you will see I do already have Map Importer put in there, but... Just to demonstrate, I will go ahead and replace it. Uh, this won't cause any issues. But what you're going to do is you're just going to cut this out. And you're just going to hit paste. Now, if you guys already have this, uh, say like an older version, just go ahead and replace the file. I have the most updated, but I'll replace it anyways. So this is going to go ahead and put your map importer.dll in there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go over and you're going to create a folder called maps. Now you will see I obviously have a folder, so I'm not going to create it. But... Once you have your maps folder, this is going to house all of the maps that are required, uh, like all the separate folders for your maps. So there is quite a few maps that we can do is we can hop back over to the Sledders Discord and we can go ahead and pull up one of this ones. So this is Denali. So as you can see, the height for the terrain generation will be 1600 and this is just some photos that we can take a look at uh, and where it takes place. So, what you will do is you'll go ahead and download this. It's going to go ahead and open up your browser. Just go ahead and hit download. And depending on how good your Wi-Fi is, it'll go by quickly, go by slowly. doesn't really matter. This will require that you do have some sort of uh, 7-zip, WinRAR, um, or just some way to extract the file. Uh, it doesn't matter how, just whatever works. So, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to come over here. And we're just going to go ahead and open this file and extract it all. Now, once we have this file all set up, what we're going to do is we're just going to come right here. We're just going to close that out. And I have a thing bookmarked. I recommend you do this, um, just bookmarking a thing that allows you to create a shortcut, and it makes it a little bit easier to access all your things. But what you would do is you're going to grab this folder, and you will see I do already have this in here, but you would originally just grab this. Uh, you would originally just go ahead and cut and then paste this in there now i'm not going to do this uh one thing i would recommend that you do is you will see don't you don't really gotta mess with the smoothing radius but if in the config file it is set not to be smooth i'd recommend enabling that that will just help with uh the smoothing so once we have all that you will see now we have all these folders and you can find these all listed on the slutters discord i'll have a page open that allows you to uh, access all the maps um, these are just some readily available ones. Uh, one thing I do recommend is, for me, the reason I have this um, shortcutted, so what I did is I just came over here and I went to Maps, and I just went ahead and created a shortcut 
four maps, uh, and then just labeled it. Uh, I just did this so that I could be able to access this while in game, because then all I gotta do is just come over to here, uh, and if I just go File Explorer, what I'm then able to do is I can come over to my desktop, and I can then find my folder. Um, one thing that will help is I recommend for the maps, they will be listed for the terrain generations for difficulties or just what it should be set to. Uh, specifically for Mount Everest, it's you do train generation 850, uh, 3000, and 1500, and then the tree generation is set to zero. So, what I would recommend doing is just go ahead and hit new, and just open a text document and just place this in there. This just allows so then once you're in the game, you're able to adjust them. And here, I'll go ahead and demonstrate for you guys. So, we'll just go ahead and load up the game. We'll just wait for the game to load all up. So, once the game's all loaded up, you will notice we have this terrain importer right here, this little window. Now, you can't move this around, I just have it pushed up in my corner right here. So, this is going to have all of your maps. So, now, what I said before with, you know, you got to manually adjust your tree amount and terrain height. So, like I said, what I recommend is going here, go up to your desktop and have this shortcutted so you can access So, we'll go ahead and open up. Uh, uh, sure, we'll go ahead and open up Snowfall. So the terrain height for Snowfall is currently 150. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and open up 150. We'll place that, and then we'll go ahead and look, scroll through the lists, and we'll go ahead and find Snowfall on here. Where is it? There we go. We got Snowfall, so we're just going to go ahead and click this, and I'd recommend you don't click anything on your screen, depending on how good your PC is, um, and which is the latest update, there has been a little bit of uh, weird things, but we're just going to kind of sit here and wait for it to load up. And there you go, you are now successfully loaded onto a modded map. So I will just go ahead and uh, demonstrate here, let me just plug in my controller here. We'll go ahead and demonstrate. So this is the modded map Snowfall. This is a community-made map. Uh, you will see there is some missing trees here. This is pretty normal. This is just uh, terrain generation. Um, that is normal. That's just because of the camera. But see, this is just a very flat map. Very nice little map. Uh, there is a lot of different maps, though, and they all are very nice. So then, if you do want to go ahead and join with multiplayer, what I recommend doing is set your terrain to the same height how I showed you before. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you guys both want to make sure you have the modded map load up, uh, loaded up and have this set to hills. And then what you're going to do is you'll see all these maps and you're just going to go ahead and join your friend's map. And then from there, that's everything you need to do. And now you have modded maps installed on the latest hot patch, hot patch 2. And you will see if the file does not include a config file, I'd recommend just copying it over. I will also leave a link so you can download the config file. I would recommend just setting the smooth to true for all of the maps. But yeah, that's everything um, you need for modded maps on the latest hot patch for sledders. I hope you enjoyed and have a fun time sledding, guys. Goodbye.